Yes. So for today's video, I'm going to share a month of my income and versus a month of expenses working as a nurse here in Ireland, a staff nurse here in Ireland. Maybe nag-iisip kayo, um, worth it ba? Is it worth it to work as a nurse if the cost of living in Ireland is that high? Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Boyd Ventura and welcome back to another vlog. So guys, today um, I have my notes here. I'm going to share something to you, something that might or might not benefit you. But I just want to share this information just in case you are planning to work here in the Republic of Ireland uh, as a nurse or you want to move here to work and live. In the, for this vlog, I'm going to try to speak in English. And if I speak a little bit of my own language, I'll put the translation down below so you can follow as well. For today's video, I'm going to share a month of my income and versus a month of expenses working as a nurse here in Ireland, a staff nurse here in Ireland. As you guys know, the cost of living here in the Republic of Ireland is one of the highest in Europe. Maybe nag-iisip kayo, um, worth it ba? Is it worth it to work as a nurse if the cost of living is that high? If you guys are new to this channel, my name is Boyd Ventura and if you are seeing me for the first time, I am a staff nurse, um, previously ICU nurse, now a um, PACU nurse working here in the Republic of Ireland and I make content about my experiences working as a nurse and also our experiences um, living as foreigners here. So first and foremost guys, I will tell you my qualifications and as well as my living conditions. So just to let you know, um, I have been a registered nurse since 2008, graduated in the Philippines. Um, the reason why I told you that is because um, your basic pay or uh, basic yeah your annual salary will depend upon your um, years of experience if you work here in ireland so so the salary that i will share to you guys um today in this video um are will be coming from my permanent job which um i am obliged to do 23 hours a week only because i dropped to part-time um, and then okay that's my dog okay and maybe I can do a vlog about it uh, one day. So guys, I read a quote from a book of uh, The Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel. He said that um, doing something you love, which is your job or nursing, uh, on a schedule you can't control, can feel like doing something you hate. So guys, I came to a point where I felt like I hated nursing because I didn't want to go to work and all that. Um, but everything changed when I dropped my hours to part-time. So moving on, I will also share my income from agency shifts that I did for the last month and a few overtime shifts so that you will know. So my monthly salary, uh, guys, will not is not the same every month. Um, it changes depending on how much um, overtime or agency shifts I do. So at the moment, my living condition is that I am living with my partner or with my husband um, with no children, but we recently bought a dog. But when I did the script, guys, we didn't have a dog yet. We didn't have Charlie. So I did not include uh, the expenses for the dog yet in this vlog. Yeah, so we're living in a two bedroom apartment, guys and that is close to our workplace. It's like a 30, 20 minute walk from here to our uh, workplace. And it is close to the city center, which is probably maybe a 30 minute bus ride or maybe 15 to 20 minutes uh, drive if you're driving a car. So the rent here is a little bit expensive, but relative, relatively cheap compared to other um, accommodations here around the city and also in the big city. So to tell you honestly guys, um, I was afraid to do this vlog because I was afraid to learn about my expenses. But I have to be honest with you guys, so for this vlog, I went uh, I went online, went to my bank statements and uh, listed, printed my bank statement and for the last month and I calculated my income and all my expenses. First guys, I'm going to share my expenses uh, and later I will tell you how much I earned for the last month, which is the month of July. Then we could work out the total or the take home money after the taxes and after all the expenses. So guys, let's start with expenses. I'm going to talk about all my expenses for the month of July. So we are going to start with the, um, what you call this, unexpected expenses, which is my dental checkup. I paid 340 euros last month for uh, 
what for a filling, one filling, an X-ray, and also a tooth extraction. For the remittance, if you guys are sending money home, you will also, you know, this is one of the big uh, kind of chunk of expenses that you will have um, monthly. So for the last month, I. Uh, sent 667.96 euros um, of money back home. So another big, ch big chunk of expenses uh, will be coming from the rent. So for this apartment, we're paying 935 euros uh, a month for a two-bedroom apartment. So for the rent, guys, I have paid 467.50 euros um, for this two-bedroom apartment. That's my share. So um, I also have a car loan, uh, which is a three-year car loan, and my monthly payment, um, like my share, is 188.50 euros. And I have completed one year already, and I have two more years to complete for this car loan. Another thing guys is when you have a car, you will have another big expense, expenses or expense, which is your petrol, which is really expensive here in Ireland, especially now after the pandemic, it never went down. So for the petrol guys, I have uh, computed on my um, trip to the petrol station, 134.14 guys. So I only, um, we don't really, we didn't really drive that much last month. I just drove like to and from uh, work. So that's it. it, we didn't really travel much. So that is kind of, you know, on the lower side um, still. For leisure guys, we went to movies, um, etc. We went outside as well, um, just near in the city center. So I spent 144 euros for uh, leisure. We go down to subscriptions, guys. I have paid 64.77 overall for uh, for all my subscriptions, which are uh, because I do YouTube, I pay for the music, I pay for Epidemic um, Sound. If you want a high quality um, um, high quality music, you can check out. Um, epidemic sound and also I pay for um, what do you call this Lightroom Adobe for photo shopping and all that uh, our printer ink and what else um, Amazon all that stuff um, so for the food and or grocery guys um, I spent 278.73 euros for food for the, the whole month which I think is a lot I think and um, you can spend lesser than that because some of my friends are spending way lower than this uh, so for takeaway guys sometimes we treat ourselves and sometimes we are so tired to cook and you know we don't have the energy um, sometimes so we um, spend money for takeaways so I spent 85.48 euros last month for for the takeaways um, this includes all the <laughs> milk tea that we consume for self-care guys, I went to the barber shop and I also included here a sweatshirt or a jumper that I bought for my husband which uh, cost 37.99 euros all in all or together. The, bar the, the haircut cost like 22, 24 euros, something like that. So for the miscellaneous guys, which includes the house stuff and also um, I included here a big purchase that I uh, did last month, which is a coffee machine that I bought, which will save me money in the long term because I was using an espresso machine before, which cost me a lot of money per pods, so, or per pod. So yeah, I bought a new coffee machine, which cost like 200 plus. So for the miscellaneous guys, guys I paid 445.97 euros for the last month, which included that coffee machine and also a photo book that I bought or that I, uh, yeah, photo book that I bought um, online because I wanted to print um, some of my pictures, some of my memories here in Ireland. So that what that cost like 61 euros. So all in all, it was 445.97, which is quite a big spending. Uh, but this is not the, 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 the real cost of living because I, I bought uh, some of the th things that you don't really buy or don't really pay for every month 
but you know if sometimes you splurge on yourself um, yeah you have to learn to how to forgive yourself don't be hard to yourself if you exceed on your budget you know from time to time you have to have a little bit of allowance to yourself and be patient and kind to yourself and that's for the expenses guys anyway he's so comfy there so guys for the income part of this vlog um, I only have one source of income which is coming from my nursing profession at the moment um, I earn a little bit from uh, doing this vlog doing these vlogs or making this creating this content but I did not include it because it's not significant enough to make any difference um, I did 15 shifts in total which is 15 12 hour shifts in total um, eight shifts came from my permanent job uh, so i work as a nurse in pacu or the post anesthetic care unit and seven shifts are mixed of overtime shifts and agency shifts okay from uh, different hospitals so the good thing about it is that um, you can earn more if you want more money or if you want more salary because um, I had 15 days uh, work days and 15 days off or like rest days my rest days like I, I chose to have more rest days because I want to do you know content creation or YouTube or you know something um, that will feed my passion and do my creative stuff uh, but if you want to earn more money you can really definitely earn uh, more money than what I will go what I'm going to share to you um, now so I'm gonna go through it one by one um, payslip to payslip so on the 4th of July so on the 4th of July guys I received 698.40 euros from doing two agency shifts uh, two long day shifts then on the 13th of July um, I received 2057.99 euros from doing seven shifts including two overtime shifts and on the 28th of August guys I received 1462.93 from doing four shifts with some added um, extras like premium and all that for that um, last month I, I don't want to talk about it because I don't know how to how, how to discuss it to you guys and on the 28th guys which is the last pay slip that I received for the month of July I got 715.30 euros from doing agency shifts two agency shifts so guys in total I received uh, one two three four four pay slips I got two pay slips for the last month from my regular job which is every two like every two weeks they give us um, um, what you call this well though they give us our salary every two weeks and then the the other two salaries that I got here because I got four are from agency shifts so that's why I had four uh, pay slips for the last month uh, so my total income for the month of July guys is 4,934.62 euros and that's it that's my net pay that's after tax already guys after all the deductions it was 4,934.62 guys I'm trying to uh, do a lot more agency shifts and a lot more overtime shifts because um, I am saving for uh, down payment we're trying to buy an apartment here in Ireland we want to have uh, a place of our own our own property that's why I am doing um, you know um, extra shifts and agency shifts and all that so after deducting all my expenses guys for the month of July from my um, combined income from all those things that I told you I got 1079.58 euros in my pocket for savings and for some of the things that I was I'm planning to do in the future emergency savings buying a house or buying um, an apartment it's, it's it's enough to it's a good money it's enough to like it's enough for you to live comfortably in uh, here in Ireland or in Europe if you know how to manage your money properly uh, then this should be enough um, if you are if you don't have kids or um, if you're single so guys I hope you learned something from this vlog I know this vlog is just very simple um, but hopefully useful to you if you want to come here to Ireland and you're expecting you're thinking how much money can I earn potentially earn and how much do I need to spend is it worth it is it you know uh, realistic or you know is it still reasonable to live in a very expensive country while earning this much as a nurse 
Um, but yeah, you can decide for yourself based on the information that I told you. And one thing to take note guys, um, this is the salary uh, that I got from being a staff nurse slash agency nurse here in Ireland. If you are a clinical nurse manager, or if you have a position or if you are an advanced nurse practitioner, um, your salary might be different from this one and will be higher. So guys, before I go, I just want to share a beautiful quote to you, which says, no one, not a single person out of a thousand said that to be happy, you should try to work as much as you can to make money to buy the things that you want. So with that, guys, I want to say thank you for watching this vlog and I hope you enjoy this vlog. And if you found value in this vlog, please um, hit the like button and subscribe to my channel if you want. And I'll see you on the next vlog. Bye. Charlie, tapos na ang vlog. Tapos na ang vlog, Charlie. So, um, 